my sight was unknown And yet his eyes were watching me And the anchor at all I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging sea but the anchor still holds in spite of the storm Though the shit is battered and the anchor holds, though the sails are torn.
record company told me that song would never be a hit song. <laughs> they said it doesn't have enough drums and percussion and then groove. I go, yeah, but when I sing that song, people get touched. They come up and tell me, you know, that, that it's helped them. And I want to put it out anyway. And they, they let me do it. And it went to number one for I don't know how many weeks it was number one. But it, it's just amazing. It's been heard all around the world. And, and I think I've gotten just as many letters about that as I have about the song Thank You. And uh, After I first was, when I was coming out, I'd come out to my, my family. Uh, I remember... Uh, my wife and I are, former wife and I are still very, very close. We talk every day, and uh, we have four children, and I have eight grandchildren. I'm Grandpa Walton is what I am. Every night I call him up, and I go, good night, John Boy, good night, Mary Ellen. But uh, anyway, we got a letter from a, a, a couple that, uh, two men that had been together, an, an email message. Nobody knew that I was out at all, and, and it came to the website, and they said how much, the, he just lost his partner and how much that song had meant to him. And it just kind of made me feel good on the way that uh, God can touch anybody. I love, I love this, God loves you just the way you are. I think it's just wonderful. Give the Lord a hand for this morning just right now. The time is up. <laughs> this is gonna be tacky because I don't have a watch. I just don't want to go over so I gotta, I can only do like 30 more seconds, right? No, I'm kidding you, I know. I just, now, I, I want to do a song right now that, uh, that is about my coming out. It's, it's a, call, a song called God Knows I Tried. I'm working on a new song. It's called It Didn't Work. <laughs> I don't know if I have the courage to, to record it and sing it or not, but, you know, it really would tick people off, <laughs> but, you know, because... <laughs> You know, because the, the documentary that Alex is here and, and we're working on is examining the question, can a, a, a gay person be a Christian? And you know what? Some people have it so nailed down that nobody can be a Christian. You know, it's like unless you are baptized the way they baptize, unless you go to the church they go to, or if you would have a woman pastor or something heretical like that, you know, you can't be a Christian. I've kind of decided the only person that can really answer that question is Jesus and you, if you could, you're a Christian. I don't think anybody else really knows, and it's not about the rules, it's about your relationship with him. And uh, when I came out, I did an interview in the Washington Blade newspaper in 2008, and I got 20,000 emails in about, I don't know, probably two months, and there were a couple good ones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a whole bunch of them was you're going straight to hell and taking everybody else I never liked you to begin with and all right you know <laughs> and some people sent their albums back you know and or burn them or whatever they want to do and I said well, that's all right you already paid for them you can burn them if you want I don't care uh, but I recorded this song because I, I wanted to say I had prayed for 30 years, I gave my heart to the Lord at 19. I went to church, I went to counseling, I went through deliverance, I was on antidepressants, I did every single thing that everybody said to do, and at the end of 30 years, I just decided I can't pretend anymore. How can I stand in front of my, I was with my children and my wife, and I thought, if I can't tell them who I really am and what I'm going through, what kind of a father am I? And so I decided to just be honest and tell the truth. And when they look at me and they say, this is a choice that I made, a, a lifestyle choice. And I never chose my sexual orientation. I never was like, got to a certain age and said, well now let's see, I could be this or this, I'll pick that. That doesn't, that's not the way it works. And no matter what they think, God knows that I tried. 